first of all, thank you to Capsaw for having me here. Big up to Shaka, big up to Brother B, big up to the brother there, and big up to the cameraman there, yeah? Love. And uh, exclusive, yeah? This is what it's all about. UK Devich Chadog Di Tu Chalani Hai Uchi Aabaz Vich Dhan Mere Lani Hai Phir Mere Gaane Aate Pangare Tu Pani Hai Mere Gaane Sunne Ke Tu Mere Piche Aani Hai Deva Fai Ki Ti Saade Naal Tu Saani Hai Hello everyone, welcome to Capsoft Podcast. Today, we've got a musician with us by the name of Yes, sir. Official. Today with me, my co-presenter. How you doing? My name is Caps. Welcome to episode four. Introducing our guest today is Yasa Official. Official. Thank yes. you for coming. Yeah, yes, Thanks good. for inviting me. Thank you for coming. Bless for coming. Yeah. Thanks to you lot, the podcast team, the pop, Caps Off team, Thank for having me much. here today. Thank you I appreciate it. Yeah, and yeah, let's roll the show. Yes, yeah, man, let's yeah. do this. Yeah, man. So, we'll start off with the first question, but we definitely have to be is, what made you get into music? Been into music from a young age. You used to do like house parties, functions, it was just natural. It was just something that was running in the family from centuries. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. just picked it up. Yeah, yeah. So ever since the age of five, just been into it. Yeah. And I've been enjoying, just been enjoying myself, but I, I wasn't doing for, I was just doing for my own hobby at the time. Oh, so he's like at parties, just doing for my own house, house, of family, family parties, parties yeah. and uh, friends parties, yeah. <laughs> but I never thought of going professional about it. Yeah. So I got approached from my pr producers, I said, look, you've got something there, something, what do you mean, got, some, got, got what, got me worried first, thinking what, got, got, okay, you got me, you got a talent in your yeah. voice. So what you doing is you're wasting your life, mm. you're wasting your time. Mm. We want to, we want, we want you to do some music for us. So I start off with my first song, Dusty. Mm. So your first well, song, how old was you when you did that? When you did the first song? It was only a couple of years ago. Okay, right. About four years ago. Yeah. yeah. So it's been about four years. <coughs> and I got approached by the producers about four years back. So I started off with a, a song called Dusty. What's it called, sir? What Dusty. Dusty. What Dusty, yeah. What's that mean? It's called, fr the song is, it means friendship. Okay. So it's based on for friendship for, for, for the men, for the women. We've got close family friends. Yeah. We're close with, you know, like soulmates. Yeah. For your couples. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff like that. That's what it's based on. Yeah, yeah. That's why I named it Friendship. And uh, I've done it reggae style as well. Nice. Ah, so yeah. you've done both sides then. So really. I've done the Asian side and the reggae and style. The reggae side. side. So yeah, that was my first song, reg reggae style. Fusion. So yeah, man. And then uh, about a year later, I done another song as well, a mashup, Indian mashup. But I mixed up the hip hop into that with diff yeah. six different verses <coughs> of songs. But you know, when you say you did the hip hop. So growing up, was you more in tune? Shit. So I was I more into the reggae it. side. From a young age. From a young age. Yeah. So more reggae was, than yeah. hip hop. So I think more reggae to? to me was more meaningful than so hip hop. So what would you listen yeah. to then? You know, as a young yeah. age, what kind of musicians would you listen to then? Gregory. Gregory Ayers. Yeah, Gregory Ayers. Yeah. You got, you got, you had uh, Ina Kamosi. Ina Kamosi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. You had uh, Tony Rebel. Tony Rebel, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bantan. Bantan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, okay. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. Tell me which one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the racing yeah. one, yeah? Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, man, I was into reggae from a young age, from probably the age of 14, <clears throat> 13. Yeah, and then. And the, always, uh, always inspired me to do something. I used to bops on it. Yeah, I used yeah. to bops my own, you know, bars on reggae. And especially in that area as well, because I know yeah. in that area you had a lot of people coming out as well. How do you mean? We say a lot of people, but a lot of people from the UK or a lot of people no, basically back in the, in the day. In the, small, in the, in the, in the area smallly, the, <coughs> the reggae was something that was always, uh, it's always, if you remember Bally Sagu back in the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He done the Is song he still going on? Yeah, man, he's, he's back he? on the scene now. And then yeah. don't forget. He just made another album, he has. Okay. So, and yeah. don't forget, you know what it means by, you know, a lot of people's coming out then in the 90s. Yeah. You remember in the 90s, you had people, what was, anyone could come out with reggae because it was a new thing. Yeah. So think about it yourself, think, you know what I'm saying? 
look who we had back then. You've even mentioned yourself, Woodrow Banton. Yeah, yeah. But then if you take it away from this, the back street <coughs> of the world of music and go into the mainstream, who did you have there? You had people like UB40. UB40, yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. Snow? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, remember yeah. Snow and all that? In nah, but Snow was rap. In Farmer, remember? In Farmer, that? Yeah, yeah, that was rap. Farmer. That was rap. That yeah. was Snow? It was West Coast. Yeah, it was rap. Yeah, but still, yeah, yeah. the sun came out more like a reggae. But still, it was like Gregory. Yeah. Gregory yeah. was Gregory. But that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying when you go to the back. You part, had rumors. Where you come into us, yeah. Still up to yeah, today, yeah. still sounds yeah. still sounds fresh, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. You had a lot yeah. of people coming out back then. So, yeah, reggae was a. Uh, reggae was. <coughs> you can never influence. get bored of reggae. Bigger influence on, on, you can on never get bored of it. Nah, never. Because it, it's, it's timeless. It's, it's, yeah. It's timeless. You can, it's, it's still up to date. Because mm. it, still, it still goes in the nature. And uh, in my in them days, when the, them 90s, that's what we, it's all about, reggae. So the hip hop part, who was you into in hip hop then? Hip hop was like when you know we had uh, what's that song called? Now? I can't remember the name. Hip hop was like you know you had the artist Jay Sean came on yeah. the scene. Mm. Yeah, Sean, uh, Sean Paul, mm. them kind of artists when they bought the hip hop <coughs> in the industry. Yeah, yeah, because they bought the hip hop and reggae Craig together. David. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, them, 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 kind of, them, them kind of vibes were banging vibes. Yeah, gee, that was the What sort of made you want to, you know, what gave you the vision of trying to blend, you know, hip hop or, or reggae into the banger kind of sound? I thought to myself, saying, you know what? Okay, you got the hip hop side, you got the reggae side. Why not? Let's, yeah. let's try something different. Yeah, yeah. Let's put some Punjabi into it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can make of it. Yeah. So I sat there one night in my room. I played a beat of reggae, reggae rhythm. Mm. I start popsing on it. And I start busting on bars on it. And like, yeah, do city. I'm nehi, do renge, do renge, damma girl. Then I start the night. That sounds good, but I don't know what you're saying, brother. I'm saying, I'm talking about <laughs> what you're saying. So my friend, you're my friend. I'm never going to break my friendship with you till the day I drop, till the day I die. Okay. That's what it means. Good meaning. So it means friendship forever. Okay. Till yeah, we yeah. drop together. So yeah, I thought, okay, this is the following day I got approached with the producers. So hold on. So the man. one so night I was just sat there, I started bobsing. The following day I went to the bank, this is where it happened in Barclays Bank, small lead. Yeah. I walked into Barclays Bank and the guy that's the producer, he actually works in the Barclays Bank as a manager. Mm. He's called me over, I want to talk to you. I said, okay. He said, oh, you know, you, 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 you sing and stuff. I said, yeah, but I'll just do it for myself. Mm. He said, look, I want you to make a song for me. He said, I know you love your reggae. So I'm thinking, fuck yeah. Last night I was singing on reggae. Yeah. So I told him, said, no, opportunity. <clears throat> why not? Let's try it. So, okay. Next following week, I'm in the studio. Bops in a way on reggae, re reggae rhythms. And we created something fucking banging. So the guy in the bank, he was a producer? Or he was the producer. Oh, okay, was okay. Producer. That was his side, that was his side he, hustle. That was his side hustle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He produced the music, yeah, yeah. he created the beat, everything, yeah. produced yeah. the music, released and it. And you, you used to have that, that unity, that formation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have to click. Yeah, You can't click with somebody, you can't work with them. Yeah, it don't make no yeah. sense. So you have, to have that, you have to have that format where you feel comfortable. Mm. I and mean, when I did go to the studio for the first time, I never <coughs> never stood in a studio, in a professional studio. That was your first I'm time? I've been on mics, but this is my first time in yeah, a proper yeah, yeah. studio. I'm thinking. Like record, first time I'll tell you one thing, something. what you do on the mic, it's not as simple in the studio. I can it's double the hard work, yeah. triple the hard work. So when you was in the studio then, and I'm you actually the got there, and you got to that mic then, yeah. is this when reality kicked in? This like is when this? reality kicked in, when the beat's playing, and they're saying, oh, your key's off. I think, yeah, what do you want? What's I don't, even, mean? I don't even know what key was. <laughs> uh, you could be a key J, you could be a key K. I was like, what's key J, what's key K? Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking, huh? Confused now. Okay, I'm a singer, but fucking hell, what the fuck's going yeah. on here? What key is this? <laughs> so then I started understanding the key of your vocal. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what your key has to sit on, what kind of tr tempo you got to go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. I worked out, I was a C, I, could be, I was a J and a K. So then when I got the, when, when I understood the key, that's when I start flowing with the beat, right? So then the time, the time, there's timing it. Then then I notice now I can feel the vibe. Mm. And when he did this to me, I knew. And you knew. I've, yeah, I've, yeah. After twenty, after twenty shots, 
I'm going through, yeah. Then I have to pick a shot, but I have a shot to myself. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's when he kicked in all. Fair play, yeah. But yeah, man. But what, what sort of sparked your vision to sort of, um, you know, because you say, you, you know, you was more in tune, you was more in tune to reggae than you was into I'll tell you what it sparked me. I heard, like I said, Bally yeah. You, yeah. Got, you got Gregory. Yeah, yeah. You know, all this reggae music, all this... It, I thought they can do it, I can do it. Yeah, of course. I yeah. thought, why not? Let me inspire myself as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to become something as well someday. Yeah. You know, I had a, there was a, I always had a dream in myself that said, okay, I want to be a singer as well. Mm. And today I'm sitting here mm. and it's, it's coming true. Mm. So did you it find as well when you hit the industry, did you find that your music was something different out there as well? Yeah, I actually, I actually felt like the trap music I'm doing now. No, there's not many Asian community who have worked on trap music because it's not really easy to work on. Like, I thought reggae was on the yard. Reggae was easy mm. after night. If I sit on a reggae beat night, I would bop on his chair because I know what he have to work on. Yeah, yeah, So it's different and, kind of tempos, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's different, yeah. totally different tempos. When yeah. I come to hip hop, it was totally different. Yeah. So then I'm there working on this song that I released not long ago for about three months. Mm. Working on the trap beat, the hip hop beat, took me three months just to get it right. Mm. Then when I caught the vibe, I thought, "Nice, done. Mm. Let's make this. Let's record. Let's record it." Mm. And it's a banger. It came out. And it's, you've been it's, doing this from from. from I've when? been doing this from from the from the age of seven years old. Mm. I've been singing so your, to myself so from the age of seven, yeah. but yeah. professionally, I got into it f when I hit. I think about 26, 25. So okay. you know when you was at home, you know like, cause you said you was at like house parties with the family and that. Yeah. So like is it one of them parties, like, yeah, yeah. So like birthday yeah, weddings, yeah, stuff so, like that. Cause for us like now, we're like singing Michael Jackson and things. Yeah. Well, yeah, he man. does a brilliant Michael yeah. Jackson, but yeah. I don't know yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah, man, you well, sing like, Michael what? Jackson, you move what straight yeah, back to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so. But then you had Mark Morrison, like, you remember? We yeah, had him, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, you started boxing like, yeah, man, this tune, man, you can't get, you can't get bored of it. It's like that. Is that the yeah, way it is? Is that the that. way it is? Yeah, 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 they yeah, were, yeah. These were the songs, man, them days, man. So do you find but nowadays, when I hear the songs nowadays, a lot of, a lot of the music nowadays doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, but That's did you grow up listening to, to hip hop? I, I grew up listening reggae? to a lot of reggae than hip hop. In your household? In my household. Okay. Reggae has always run in my family. It's just been it's been something that's been part of our, our family from centuries. My uncles always listen to reggae till mm -hmm. this day. Yeah. And even me, I've been I've been just following them. Yeah, but what do you find? What do you find? So obviously with hip hop, back in the day hip hop <clears throat> had a message, you know, in, in the sort of late eighties, early nineties it had a message and then reggae, you know, it had a message as well. And reggae that message is still sort of. But so still so the thing now. is, right, with reggae, so the message with reggae is right. But so hip hop, though? Nah, I, no, I think hip hop, hip -hop, hip -hop died out with a hip hop, more, right? Hip -hop. From how it used to you be to what it is now. Words, what you're hip hop to say. was good the in, words, what both of them are saying, in the 90s. Yeah? yeah. It was good in the 90s. Now, this yeah. is what my question was. But there is good hip hop. There is some good hip hop. Yeah, but, but it's, from it's that not noticed, it's underground. If you play reggae today, hip hop is nothing in front of you. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather play Gregory than any new hip hop today. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what yeah, I was yeah, going to ask you, because you, you know what, what I was going to ask you is, do you find the music back in the 90s to the music now, the music, which, which one do you prefer to I prefer flowing? the music in the 90s, because mm. it's still, if you listen to it today, it still sounds up to date. Yeah, and yeah. you listen to something today, half the, song, half the time I think, what are they saying? Yeah, yeah, They're talking yeah. about gang related, gun related, knife yeah, yeah. related. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? And I think, I think a lot of the artists that talk about those, those topics, are not really and they're not doing with, they're not they're not singing with passion yeah, yeah where you had the reggae reggae was passion mm. and them guys them in their in them days the 80s and the 90s they used to sing with their heart with and their the heart. Soul. yeah yeah and yeah. you could feel their words yeah they're touching mm. even though the beats even catching. though it sounds so simple as well yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was simple yeah but nowadays it's yeah what do you say? Rewind that. Let me yeah, hear that again. Catch up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't tell. That's, <laughs> how, that's, how, that's how it is. He starts like this and he's fucking already out the way. Yeah, yeah. Like mumble rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mumble rappers. But don't get me wrong, there are some rappers out there who are making sense, but a lot of the rappers nowadays, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. They're just. They're I think they're jumping on the bandwagon, to be honest. Some of them would see, there's some of them see like Tupac, they're becoming Tupac today, but they're going around yeah, fucking yeah. shooting people, but yeah, to GTA. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be, you know, but, but, as soon as they watch GTA, they want to pick up the gun and start shooting people. This is the reality world now. Like our times was, if you had a fight, one on one, mm. it'd be shake and see you later. See you later. Yeah, Before yeah. you know, yeah, you, you have a fight today. We had fucking thirty men that ready outside the house, mm. waiting for you mm. to stab you. Mm. Yeah. So the culture now is totally, is totally changed. Mm. There's no respect. There's no dignity. Mm. There's no loyalty no more. Do you think that has a lot to, lot to do with the music? Or of is course that, it does. Yeah. Of course it does. A lot of these, a lot of action movies you got. A lot of the music nowadays is 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 it's, it's destroyed the, yeah. the, the, the community. Yeah. So sub- that's me saying that. That's me saying that with positive vibes. Yeah. Subconsciously, the music yeah. will set in your mind. Yeah. And whatever you're listening to, even when you're. If you remember sleep, in the or, '90s, right, where the reggae was playing, everybody was enjoying themselves. Mm. There was a time where you could leave your front door open. Yeah. Right? You could leave it open till midnight. Nowadays, you can't even leave it. You can't. You have to put three doors on before you really close the front one. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because you don't know who's gonna walk into your eyes. It's true. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the that's that is that that's what the age and the stage where the the time has come to where people have got fear in themselves that anybody can just come and knock your door and could do anything. Mm-hmm. Robberies yeah. are happening. Youngsters are. If you look at the youngsters nowadays, they live from the age of eighteen and they're dead at the age of twenty-five. Mm-hmm. That's their life. Mm-hmm. And in the eighties and the nineties, that never happened. Mm-hmm. That was a different. We was born. I think it did. Our breed was brought up different. Yeah. We had restrictions. More, we had to be at home. If we was about five minutes late, we would get fucking slapped up. <laughs> we would get battered with a fucking slipper. Do you know what I mean? That's how it was. Yeah. Oh, that's it. You're banned for the whole week. You ain't getting a pound for the whole week now. Mm-hmm. And a pound was a big thing for us. Mm-hmm. We think, yeah, man, pound for the buy yeah. With a one penny sweets. Yeah. Ten penny sweets. Yeah. Well, I, I think, I think um, you know, society is sort of restricted, you know, parenthood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of things where, you know, you try and discipline your own child, yeah. but the government, they have a play into it. Yes, they have a, they have a say into it as well. What do you mean by Nowadays, that? basically, if, if you if, touch yeah, your if, child now, yeah, 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 the yeah. government will be involved yeah. straight away. And the, kid, the kids today know that, you know, if mommy or daddy yeah. disciplines them in a certain way, there's a certain uh, number that they can call to, you know, yeah, the they, already, they, already the know the code. they already know the code. But they've been doing that anyway, because, you know, if you think about it, back, what the government's actually done from the time of, say, the 90s, yeah. from the 90s, yeah, say about beginning of eight, um, 89 to 90s, from there, the government actually gave the power to children, to the children. because yeah. for the simple reason, there was a lot of abuse where they couldn't count for, and that's what it was. But at the same time, it's like to say we're in a time now that if you, you know, if a child has been hit or anything, they can phone social service or nine nine, you know, that child service like yeah, straight away. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's a shame to say that we, that's the society that we've got that to. We live in. That well, we didn't have that back in the day. Yeah, but, but now that. it it's comes like, to even that the teachers don't even have the power no more. It's like when when I was growing up, obviously we grew we grew up with restrictions. Mm. A certain time that we have to be in our bed, mm. schools, runs. I think a lot, a right. lot, a lot of that has to do with respect. Yeah, you know like my mother, oh, she's been, pa- she's passed away. Oh, I was, I was quite young when she passed away, oh. and uh, sorry to hear that. That's when I stopped singing, when she passed away. So do you feel that you know with your music, do you express your feelings? About I remember her, her last words before a couple of weeks before she passed away. I remember she said to me, and she said to my father, make sure you look after him, because when I was born. As a baby, I was born very premature, and I was on a lot of, you know, machines and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they had to go through a lot of struggle to, for me to be here today. Mm-hmm. And uh, when she passed away, he did. He, he actually like it took me time to like bring my tears. Mm-hmm. And when I seen her body come and I seen her face, I broke down. Naturally, I, just, yeah, naturally. I forgot everything. I forgot about the music side. I told her I don't want to do it. And, uh, but I remember she saying, just make sure you don't give up on your music. Mm. Just keep doing what you're doing. Did that push you forward then? And then he pushed me back to, he pushed me forward. It took me many yeah. years, a, lo- a long time. But yeah, it's pushed me back to where I want to get to now. Mm. And mm. she's still there, she watches me, she's there, she's a blessing still there. Mm. Sometimes I'll be, I'll be sitting there, and I'll be talking to a wall. 
Yeah, you feel yeah. the presence. Yeah. yeah, you feel the presence, yeah. man. You feel yeah, the presence. Yeah. How long ago was that? It's uh, been uh, 26 years now. But it still feels like it was yesterday. Just I, yeah. could, I could yeah. actually see. Yeah. I'll tell you another story. We had a dog. We had a dog, yeah? And now my mother used to feed the dog every day. Mm. We gave the dog away. You wouldn't believe this or not, yeah? I was, I was I actually, this is. After three weeks or four weeks, the dog came out of the house with a broken chain, a thick chain. When the body, my mom's body came to the eyes, the dog sat right across the road and we seen him. He just come there just to see the owner. As soon as the body went, he ran off. Really? Yeah. They say an animal, if you bring the animal, your animal the right way and treat them the right way, they will always they know who your owner is and they will yeah. remember them. Yeah. A good person will always be remembered. Because I remember saying that, um, back in the days that when some people used to pass away, the dog used to actually sit on the grave mm. because they actually missed their own. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I understand that man. one. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, when you actually then, you know, like when you actually thought then, I'm going to go into this now with the music. Because yeah. I know it must have been hard because your mum must have yeah, been like, it's, it's been, it's been, It's been tough. It's been tough for me. Yeah, I've struggled through the music side, but I've never given up because I'm not, I'm not a give, I don't give in. I want to keep fighting. They say, you want to gain something, you have to keep fighting to gain yeah, yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, okay, this never worked for me, stop now. Mm -hmm. I told you, no, you know, no, I'm going to carry on. I encouraged myself, in my side of my soul, say, no, carry on doing it. So I carried on, carried on. So then, I start, then I start seeing people approaching me, start recognizing me. Mm -hmm. And I start understanding now. The understanding that there is someone that he called Yasser who exists. Yeah. Mm. Social media now is a very big thing. Oh yeah. I in our time, there was, <laughs> yeah, there was in no them media. time there was no social media. No social media. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? There so was no social media at all. That one, that one screen has got everything in it. Mm. This is why the, the the youngsters nowadays are not right in the head because mm. it's all in their hand what they're following. I think it's easier to do. You know what you sort of um, what you want to do in life nowadays than my, what it was previously. My especially with see social my, media. See my 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 original what uh, originally what I do is with I work with cars originally. Oh, so that's my trade originally. Oh. That's my full time job. I do car body repairs so and stuff like say? that. So the music would you the say? The music was just on the side. Yeah. But I never like paid that much attention to it. But now that when I'm seeing things are changing for me and getting approached by people, I'm thinking that this is something different. This is getting somewhere. Now when I release this second, this the song now, I want us to release uh, before this one, it's called Nachana. I started getting mean? approached. What does that mean? This, uh, I know what that means. What does that <laughs> mean? Means. So wait there, don't say nothing. Yes, yeah, sir. What's it called? Nachana. Nachana, yeah. Nachna. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Nachna. Nachna. Now don't I mean mess up now. Don't mess up. Dance. It yeah. means dance. Yeah, it means dance. dance. Oh means my, dance. let me give him a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a round. Yeah, That's yeah. the first yeah. time. If you watch the last programs yeah. and you ask this man if you know this person, he's like, yeah, yeah. Goes, I don't know no, who this man is. Who's this person? So you know what? You know yeah. what? When, obviously, <laughs> when, 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 when Shaka said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yasa's coming on. I'm like, yo, who's, who's Yasa? You and do that with everyone. He does that with everyone. I know you. Yeah. When I research, I'm like, yo, Nasa, Nachna. What does Nachna mean? Because that's not your surname. Yeah. Like, Nachna means dance. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yes. So I'm, I'm a So you all think you might have said it Nachna? Nah, at first I thought, at first. Oh, oh shit, man. Oh, shit. At first I thought. Yes, yeah, Nachna. Yeah, yeah, that's a Nachna. Nachna. So I thought, hold on, let me research the surname mm. Nachna. Nachna means dance. I'm like, imagine nah, dancing no with the surname Nachna. I told you yeah, this exactly. man danced like Michael so thought, Jackson. There's no way. I told you that surname like Michael Nachna. Jackson. means dance. Yeah. <laughs> So that was. That's what I was so what made, made you think? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what he thought? He thought he was gonna come in dancing. Uh, oh, so yeah. what made you think? You know, naturally, you're gonna have that name. You're gonna have that word after your first name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Natchna. It's got a ring to it. But what made you feel? You know, I'm having natural. See, because I'm a, I'm a very, a very, I'm a very entertaining, entertaining person. Yeah, yeah. So I love my dancing. Yeah, I watched the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought, it, I, I can tell. Let's yeah. keep it yasa. Not you know. 
Yeah. So the song is actually about dancing. Yeah. yeah that's what the yeah. song is about. Yeah. Just yeah. dancing. <laughs> so that's so, why I kept the name Nuts Now. Nuts Now. Yeah. For yeah, dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you must get the crowd lively when you get on that stage. So you go. They will, what we'll do, we'll sit down in a meeting, we'll go through names, then we'll listen to the song, then we think, hang on, what should we call it? What should we call it? We can call it dance. You remember that music like this? Should we call it dance? Mm. Should we call it Nuts? Nuts. Nuts Now. Uh, and I said, yeah, man, not you know. Not you know yeah, so then he yeah, thought, yeah, this song, yeah, it sounds good, man, not you know. Then watch the video, not you know. And it made sense, because yeah, that's yeah. what it is, dance. Yeah. But you see, the, the video that I watched was, um, obviously the title or what I sort of put in was uh, Yes and Nuts Now. Yeah. And it was... Um, see, if you see, if you if you notice in the song, I mentioned my name. Yeah. yeah yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yasser yeah. and I'll add Pangara to Pale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Yasser and I'll come and dance with Yasser. Okay, yeah. So, okay, Yasser yeah. and dance. So, your music is more about having My fun. My music is more, more about happiness. Yeah, yeah, have yeah fun. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Join me and let's yeah, yeah. celebrate. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it's about. So, that's okay. what I was going to say. There's no so negativity, it's all positivity. It's all, positive, all positivity. Yeah. So, then at concert, yeah, when you really jump on stage or anytime you're on that stage, yeah. then you must make everybody jump up. Of course. Probably. Do you know what? Let me tell you the funny, let me the, the funniest thing, yeah? Every wedding that we have in our family, I have to be the kickoff for the dance. They want me to start the dance floor, the rest, the, because otherwise they won't dance. Really? Every wedding I've had from a young age, I've always been the first one on the dance floor to kick the show off. So now you know what Nachina means. Yeah, man. Now dance. you know why I call myself Nachina. Because I am the dancer. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fair play, man. Fair play. So that's what Nachina is. That's why it's called Yasa Nachina. So the video that we're playing at behind you, is this your... This is my latest one. This Jadu. is the latest video? Yeah, this is the latest one. No. This is the trap style that I did. That took me three months to just get it right. Mm. Then on the fifth month, that's when I put the words down. So you're a perfectionist? You have to be. Because you said three months. Three yeah. months, that's yeah. A perfectionist. I have to. I, have to. Yeah. I can't. I wouldn't release something that I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... Happy. The, the funny one is, I released a video, I, had to read it, I've done the, I read on the video as well. Mm. So I've released one video, and I wasn't happy with it. Mm. The same day, I took it straight off YouTube, mm. whenever I posted it. Mm. The following day, I found the camera, I said, get back here. Mm. There's something missing. This scene's not right, that scene's not right. Mm. Doesn't, the song's not adding up, mm. how it should be. Because what I do is, right, I go, whatever I sing, I want the scene to match that, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's what it makes sense. sense to you, it's like yeah. a glass now. Cheers. I have to make sure that cheers, mm. the worth of cheers, it meets. Mm. Smashing the bottle. Yeah. I have to show that. Yeah, it everything comes together. Every thing combines properly. Mm. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos. People are singing, but the video doesn't even match the song. Mm. Yeah. It looks too. It looks stupid. Mm. That's why a lot of people are realizing it's not about your perfectionist. You have to be perfectionist in in the, in in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in the industry. Why? Because one, you're gonna give a song right. That's a so if it's a good song, you gotta make it look you know right, mm. so people enjoy it and they wanna keep watching it. Yeah, My aim is if I make something today, I want you to play ten years down the yeah, line again. Yeah, you want it to be. It's like rumors. Yeah, man. Rumors are this is when yeah. now, this is now, Let me go back to the reggae side. <laughs> now, when you ask me, now when you, yeah. now when you yeah. ask me, wait, wait there, wait there. Yeah. Like, you're looking in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's now now right. yeah, yeah, because it's this is right. the one who wants reggae. Now when you ask, now now when, on, when when you ask me about the reggae side, yeah, yeah, yeah. what made what made you think about reggae like that? Who me? Yeah, because you did ask this question earlier. For me, it was more. It was more of what I heard growing up. Yeah. And it was heartfelt. That's it. So the thing. Let me tell you, wickedest. The wickedest thing is. You know, growing up, I used to hear a lot of reggae in the household. Like, wherever I used to you go. Need to hear my dusty song. You need to hear my dusty one. Yeah? You need to hear that. Uh, I'm going to hear that. Don't worry yeah. about it. So, yeah, growing up, like, in my, in, in, um, my household was reggae. Um, when I went to like, other family members, yeah, it was, it was reggae. Yeah, yeah. Or soul, you know, like Tina Turner or... Yeah. Um, Whitney Jackson. Houston, yeah, Michael, yeah, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Michael, Michael Jackson, love Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, all them kind yeah, of things. Mark there. Morrison and all <laughs> so, so, so Tupac, yeah, Tupac. Yeah. No, he didn't nah, play Tupac. Didn't, 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 he don't nah. know about Tupac. That's uh, my household. Really, uh, that's yeah, that's yeah, my I really listen to Tupac growing up. Um, so, you know, at the time when when I used to hear that music in my head, I didn't really appreciate it. But 
Growing up now, I, I, I'm it, more no? mature. Yeah. I what appreciate made, it now. But what made you appreciate it? What made me appreciate it now? Yeah, what made you appreciate it? I don't know. That, I don't know. I'll tell you what I, made I me appreciate know. it. When I listen I to the word, when I listen to the words of the song, yeah. them words mean that they're talking about their life. Yeah. Now if you listen to something today, mm. they're not talking about them they're not talking about themselves, they're talking no. about shit. They're yeah, talking they're talking about, about things that they've seen. Like you know the reggae, the old school reggae. If you listen to them carefully, they're talking about themselves. They're talking yeah. about the, the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they want to love. They want to love there. Yeah, yeah. That's what so it's love. about. Yeah, yeah. Now this is what I'm trying to do. When I be, when I say listen to the reggae, what I try to, to put out, you know, to the to the world, mm. I want them to understand the words, that this word is meaningful for something. Mm. Now say if a girl's heart broke, mm. I will sing something specifically on that point where it's meaning, not, oh, go on. You know what I mean? Basically, you no, go out. I don't know what that means. Yeah, basically, that means, that, means, that, means, that means you can fuck up, I don't need you, like stuff like that. Okay. But there's words that, you know, if you say to a. If you approach a girl, you say something in the right way, she'll look at you. She could, fall, she could just fall for you dead on the spot. Okay, teach me that way. That, What's that? I don't need to be taught, but I, I have, have a wife. Just say to a girl, I'm just going to say What's that mean? Come on, dance with me, darling. Okay, okay. You already got the, the first part. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, so you forgot that, but didn't you? <laughs> okay, you see, okay, I told okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, man, reggae is reggae uh, inspired me to come onto that vibe. I didn't listen to much of the Asian side of the music. I was going to ask you that. I was going to yeah. say, I was coming so to that. I read your mind then. Yeah, so yeah, I was, yeah, I was coming to that. Before, yeah. so I was coming to that next. Yeah. So, the reggae, what inspired me? To come into the into the music scene, so it was nothing to do with rap. No, it's all it's it, everything's all reggae. reggae. It's all reggae. There was some Asian music that I used to listen to. That was like sad music, meaningful yeah. music. Mm. And like you know, where you can sit with your family, you can watch it like you know, like a sad movie. Yeah, yeah. You can sit down with family. Nowadays, you can't even sit down with your family and watch a movie because that's yeah. how bad it is. Yeah, that's yeah. a bit of Because it's all fucking not. It's all nudes now. Yeah, yeah. You can't have your kids sitting there with you. Yeah, stuff no, like no. that. So yes, I have to ask this question. Yeah. So. What la whose label are you signed to? I've got my own record label, Yes Records. Oh, so you've produced your yeah, own label? Yeah, I've produced my own record label, yeah. So I do everything that I do. Obviously, I've got my musician that's behind me. I'll sit down with him and we'll create the beat, to get the beat to, uh, together for the songs. And then when I do launch the song, I release it on my own record. So I've only released my two songs on the record at the moment, but the, the, the latest one, it's been released on my own record. A one before that has been released on a different record. Okay. But I've only just made. I've only just got my record recently. So yeah, yeah it's, that's new to me as well. Yeah, that's good. So it took me time to build that. It took me a few years. So yeah. I've eventually got to that point where I've got I've got something to back me up now. Yeah. Where I can get my music out to the world. Yeah. Before I couldn't do that. Like my two first songs, they didn't get worldwide release. They only had the YouTube release. But my two new ones, they got worldwide release. So then I created my new my own record, got connection, got contact with the right people, two people. And uh, I'll say thank you to PKC, the producer, who's helped me through this, you know, through the record thing. Yeah. He's the one that's helped me through all that. And uh, so now every music, every song that I will make, it will be released on my own record. So, you know, so I've got my own channel, is. I've got my own record, and it will be always released worldwide, Spotify, iTunes, iCloud, Amazon, it'll be all over that. And it's always free. And it'll be playing on BBC Asia Network. we got Brit Asia that will hopefully, I've got an interview hopefully with Brit Asia, with BBC Asia Network. Mm. Uh, <coughs> I was like, I showed you that text today. Yeah. You've seen that yourself. Yeah. Asian yeah. music. Yeah. British Asian music. Yeah. They've uh, invited me for something. I haven't gone through it yet, so I need to go through that. So I can't really say much about that one yet. But, so but you, yeah, I got, I got, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep pushing myself. So have you brought anybody through on your label yet? Well, I've got two new artists coming through. One that I mentioned, Be Best Official. Yeah, Be Best Official. And then I've got a Sabi. He's an Asian rapper. So these two artists I'm gonna bring into my record. And uh, TK. The one of the rappers in that new song, uh, yeah. Jadu. I bought him in. So now I've got these two other rappers that I'm going to bring in now. So hopefully they're going to be recognised in my song as well. 
the latest one. Yeah. Yeah. I also might have a girl in there as well. That's a surprise bit for the when I mentioned the episodes. Yeah. So to be continued. So there'll be an episode for that. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be exciting. So it won't just be a song. It's gonna be a song that's gonna be episode so you can carry on making that same vibe and carry on with it to make you can make up to ten episodes of it. So yeah. So you can't get bored of it. Yeah. So every time I'll write something different, here's the second episode, here's the third episode. Yeah. Fourth episode. It'll be like a it'll be like a like a movie that you do. Yeah, so you're in a, your own little movie yeah, clip for music videos. Yeah, that's a good idea, that is. That's a good idea. And I don't see a lot of people doing stuff like that. No, My thought of ideas, I sleep on it and I, I vision them. Mm. And I think to myself, you know what, let's try this. You know, I push myself this far. Let's try something new. Let's see what, let's see what, what really work or won't it work. So you're, you're a strong believer in that. So I'm a strong it believer it, uh, in them existence. kind of ways, yeah. Yeah, speaking it to fruition. Yeah, 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 yeah So I thought, let's try something different. It might work. Mm. And for the community, it'll be something entertaining. Yeah. Why? Because they'll be expecting another episode. Yeah. Okay, we've seen this one. We've seen this track, man. Oh, when's the next one coming? Mm. Yeah, but would you class, would you, what would you class your music as? Because I would class not, my it's music... Not rap, uh, my it's not reggae, it's not bangra, it's not strictly bangra, so it's, it's a blend. My, my music is a blender, yeah. It's, yeah. it's everything and anything for, for every culture. So anybody can sit there and listen to it. They won't get, they'll think, okay, it's got the reggae style, it's got the trap style, it's got the hip-hop style, it's got the drill style, it's got garbage, it's got Punjabi style, it's got bangra. So you so it's, so it's got together. everything in one. What I'm doing now, the one I'm doing now, it's gonna have, it's gonna have the flavor of everything. Mm, yeah, it's gonna have that flavor where any culture will sit down and listen to it. But are you, not, are you, are you are you educated? Honestly, um, Bangra, with Bangra, yeah, <sighs> because they have the. Um, is it Vaisiki? What's it called? Vaisiki? Vaisaki. 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 Yeah. He knows about that one. Yeah, as well. I know my thing, man. Yeah. So Vaisaki was sort of introduced to celebrate spring. The yeah, coming no, of the fourth. See, that, that's, that, that's Indian culture. Ah. Yeah. Right, okay. See, we come from the Muslim culture, so Islam. Okay, so what's the difference then? There's so Vaisaki is the same word see, for both for both sections. It's, sim yeah, it's, quite, it's similar. Like we have Eid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have yeah. Vaisaki. They have Diwali. Yeah. Okay. See, okay. Eid, is, Eid is different to Vaisakhi. Right. Like we go to the mosque and we we we'll celebrate, we'll pray Eid in the mosque. Yeah. yeah. Where Vaisakhi will do the you know prayers in the mandir. It's right. it's it's like the same thing, mm. with just different way of belief, mm. different way of believing in gods. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. That's so the meaning. I just of wanted to know that. I just right. wanted to clear yeah. that up. That's all. So their god, they 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 believe in a different god. We believe in the god up there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know okay, I mean? okay, okay. That's how it is. Mm. But it's similar, it's it's quite the same. So you yeah. know actually being a mechanic and doing the music and family life and that, how do you cope with everything? Do you know what it is? I'm just I'm too active. I'm always energetic. Sometimes I find it difficult. Recently I went I was going through like a very bad struggle. Why? Because of my I got, I got depressed, mm. I went downhill whilst I was working on my new song, so I stopped it for a bit, for about three, four months I stopped it. I was going through like a problem, like seeing, missing my mother, mm. seeing the family problems I've been through, because I live alone and stuff. Mm. And uh, sometimes when you live alone, it does get to you. Mm. You think, oh, family, yeah, you, you, know, you miss your family, really. yeah, yeah. you, know, you want to spend your time with your family, yeah. and you want to be around them all the time. But obviously it's not there all it's not there all the time, and then obviously like seeing your mother in your sleep and stuff like that, it's, it it started getting to me. So, are you the only child? No, no, it's, there's me, and I have uh, another five. There's another four, there's another four brothers. Mm. No so sisters. I have I have nine sisters. Nine sisters. Yeah, well Shut because my dad my is obviously is married good. again. Yeah, yeah. So I've got yes. five sisters from my other other, other mother stepmother. Yeah. Then obviously my own mother, I've got four sisters. Yeah, and, got we, and we've got two brothers from the other side. And including myself, another two more brothers from my mum. Okay. So it's five brothers, nine sisters. So yeah, you see, the father has been a bit busy, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so 
what I was going to ask you on the last question was where do you see yourself and especially for the younger generation the community what do you see yourself in the next 10 years mm. with the younger generation and the community to be honest with you right with your music that question I can't really I can't really predict on that why because I leave that to God mm. yeah. but I'm hoping my music whatever I sing and I sing it I sing what I, what I sing is for the community to understand that peace is what we want and love. Yes. Yeah, and that's what I want to see in the next 10 years or 20 years. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. If I live till then, that's what I, that's what my music's about. Mm. Yeah. Peace and love. Mm. Mm. It's not for aggression, it's not for hatred. It's for love and peace. Respect each other, love each other because tomorrow's not always promised. Yeah, for yeah. real. Do you know what I mean? You consider yourself today, a role yeah, model. Look, we're sitting here today. We might not be here tomorrow. That's mm. true. So, my 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 words out there to the community is: respect your parents, respect the people around you, love each other, and don't ever give up on your, you know, your dreams. Just keep going, because yeah. you know it'll probably get you somewhere. Like mm. me, I fought for a long time from a young age, and today I'm sitting at Caps Off with the brothers. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Thank you for inviting yeah. me. Well, thank, thank you for you coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, but <laughs> thank you as well. Thank you so, yeah. yeah man. So it all takes time. So my word out to the community, to the world, just be positive. Yeah. God's there. Yeah. And it will always get you through. You could go through a rough patch. You could go through a good patch. Mm. But you have to experience a rough patch to be who you are today. Because yeah, yeah. you're it never... character. Not until you don't yeah. see the kicks up your backside. Yeah. You're not going to see the reality world. You have to see the you have to see the bad sides. That's why you are who you are today. Do you think music helped you? You know, music with has helped passing me. and stuff like yeah. that. Do you yeah, think music helped you to definitely. get through? Yeah, because I've listened to a lot of sad music and it's yeah. got me through and made me understood about what life is, how precious life is. Mm. Then seeing people die, mm. you know, people who was close to you, mm. seeing them leave the world, you makes you understand that you know we're not here every day. Mm. We're not gonna be here forever. Mm. No. We are gonna leave one day. And, and that's promised. That's promised, yeah. isn't it? You know what I mean? Mm. Wow. But a lot of people don't understand that. They forgot that. I know. That's what I was going to say. They just well, need a lot reminding. Of people have forgotten that. They need reminding constantly. Yeah, but yeah. A lot of people think we've got this, we've got that. But they don't realise that's not coming with you. Mm. And that's that's promised to stay, yeah? Mm. But you're not promised to stay. You're going to go down to the soul. Yeah. Mm. So like where you come from. Yeah. You're not even going to take this with you. I ain't going to take this with you. Not. Nothing. Your, your fingers are going to lie. You're going to go empty. You're going to go empty. You know what I mean? On that note there, I've got to thank you so much for actually coming in to Caps Off Podcast. Thank you You're as coming well. again, because yeah. we ain't finished. <laughs> it's just part one of it. Yeah, it's man. part one, yes, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. respect and thank you. Thank you as well, man, for having me. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know that your video's playing in the back. And I know anyone can see you on YouTube. They can load your videos and watch on YouTube. Yeah, so, yeah. please do have a watch of his videos. So yeah, check out Jadu. It's, all, it's on YouTube and uh, we've got something special coming for Eid. When's so, the Eid? When's the Eid? Uh, sometime middle of, maybe middle of this month. Are you sunny? Towards the end of this month. Yeah, I'm sunny. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Eid Mubarak. So Eid Mubarak, everybody. Well, to the Islam yeah, Eid, Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. In advance to everybody. To everybody. And from the Caps Off team. Mate, Enjoy. Big up. Brad. And on that note, thank you so much for watching the show today. We'll be back soon with the next show. Hope everyone can get to see it. Keep positive yeah. and peace out. Stay true to yourself. And big up to the BMF familiar. Yo. Yo. Big up. Big up yes. the cap stuff. Big up BMF familiar. Big up the Shaka. Shout out big up to the brothers. Yeah, man. Hi, hi, there. You have to be a little bit of a little Taru di vargiye tu munde anu jardi jave aaye aaye teri akk vich jadu munde anu jardi jave taru di vargiye tu munde anu jardi jave tenu ve khaje botal whisky di thori jama jarda nasha de kutte nimbu ni jori jama dekha je yasar tenu madosh kardi jave dekha je yasar tenu madosh kardi jave pure phalo te jani e teri eed sari yasar vi fir da single fir di tu kwari nak
ਕਰਾਏ ਦੇਸੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਰੀ ਜਾਵੇ ਆਏ ਆਏ ਤੇਰੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਦੂ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਵਾਂਟ ਗਿਵ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਬਿਗ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਕੈਪਸ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਟੁਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਬਿਗ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਡੋਚ ਗੁਲੀ ਐਮੋ ਐਸਕੋ ਫਾਜ਼ ਹੈਚ ਸਾਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਗ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਮਾਈ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਮਾਈ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਈ ਸਿਸਟਰਸ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਆਲ ਬੂਮ ਯੈਸ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਦ ਕੈਪਸ ਆਫ ਟੀਮ ਇਸ ਮੀ ਮਾਈਸੈਲਫ ਦੈਟਸ ਮੀ ਸ਼ਾਕਾ slang rocks as the bank shots locks on my crown my sound demand the same props i'm still down with the g's togs and man's main grounds with the fans and fans shaking my spot i smoke weed by the crops my soul bleed for my pop what my speed on the scene by the cop switch lanes and the sick game is stain violent on my click name the shit stain straight bitch like rick james but i'm a fucking animal like bing rains black poet like zephaniah get darker than the black house and hands were as fire as my black tired powers to my people like science man i wish i had a 10 pound note for every shot fired top by what is my remedy for collective memory fuck getting out of this jungle i'm a celebrity that's where the cheddar be plus i got myself a night nurse like gregory man this city is like an open prison every man wants circumcision on a certain wisdom was at the birth of my first when i turned and kissed him never thought i would miss him now i got my fucking cousin in the Big up Rhino, you see me? Super Troll. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed the show today. Just a quick little advertisement for what we're wearing. The tops we're wearing today is sponsored by Saba. Big up Saba. If anybody's looking for the tops, you can get them off Instagram. Just look for Saba. Sick tops though. Check Saba. Instagram. We've been dealing with Trap Talk. Trap Talk. Don't forget to look out for Trap Talk too. Big up, big up, big up. We'll be wearing them tops to you soon. So we'll see them soon on us. And to our next little production to the Shambhalas. Shambhala. As I'm going to say to you, big up the Shambhalas if anybody needs any. All you need to do is just go to our website, our page, our Instagram page, and you can get any of these things that you need, especially the Shambhalas. Big up to my sister. soon to be selling caps off tops and hats and if anybody does need anybody for filming production please yeah, get in yeah. contact with caps off you know what we're uh, addressed by now just look at the button and Boom. subscribe don't forget to subscribe like subscribe, subscribe. and share. share.